Hey guys, I've actually been keeping a bit of a secret from you, so you know how they're closing the Vita store? Well, I found the old thing, might, might have been helpful for buying games after it was discontinued, so I didn't say anything. Um, but now that they're not closing the Vita store, I mean, I may as well share it anyway, right? So, just, just take a look at this. But wait, how? Didn't they close the old web store and replace it with a really shitty one that can only do PS4 and PS5 and can't even yield and pay on Moon? Yes, this is what I thought too. But then, I was talking to my friend Marbs and and he showed this amazing thing. But if I use the Choyo API, it's all still there. And I'm like, wait, that API still exists? And then he sent me a yank. Store.playstation.com, Choyo whatever container, store MSF7660 base, right? And then, I'm curious, I kicked on this, and to my amazement, yes, the old PlayStation store, Chulio API, is still online. This got me thinking, is there any way I could load the old store? So the old store is just an HTML page with a bunch of with a ja bunch of JavaScript files on, right? And those JavaScript files, in fact, the API. And since the API is still online, what's stopping this from just working? So I went to the Wayback Machine and put in the URL for the old store, specifically for my region of it, C E N N Z. And then I simply just went to the latest al the oldest archive, the latest archive I have that was still the old store. Which was happened to be this one made in October October seventh, twenty twenty, and I'm still loaded up, obviously, but I uh, but it didn't work, right? But this is kind of the expected from a different domain and everything, um, and we know if we put um, like id underscore in front of this link. It'll get rid of the, uh, it should get rid of the ballot top and give us the original file. And so I did that and then I opened up CMD and went, you know, call that yink to games HTML or something, right? I, I downloaded that file. And then all I did was open up my video and go auto responder, right? And um, we just say this is say this one isn't here. I went all those ones. I added a rule of um, you know store playstation dot com en and z home games right, and then the file to return. I went you know find the file, and I kind of just selected. That one I just saved. Right, if I can find it. Game slash no, I selected that one and saved it. And now if you enable this if you enable capturing so it can go through here, alright, and you kinda just do this. It 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 actually loads up. Right? The page actually loads up, and now you just wait for to load all the JavaScript files as well, which are still on their servers, um, which is great. 
It is literally just this one HTML file is removed. And you can tell when it's done because a um, avatar will pair up here and these will probably change depending on how old your archive is. And you just need one file from the store, like one HTML file anywhere on the store and it will work. I see, and then I got an error, and then when I reload the page, it starts working. See? And now you can act, now you just disable um, capturing because it's always CL. And everything in here will now work. So I can browse the page. For example, I can look at this page for Italia Fieris. I can I can basically go anywhere. I can even use the search. Like for example I can bring up um I can actually bring up I can actually bring up PS5 games on the old store, which is just great. Um somewhere. Here we go, yep, PS5. See, no problem. So yeah, the store works and I'll be better than the old one, so yeah, that's how you can access it. You just need video 4 and to get the HTML file for your region, and there you go. Um, you can access the old store all you want, and you can even buy stuff and do whatever the hell you want. Everything works. It's just, it's just amazing how easy this is. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's all. Goodbye.